Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day one, Premier League team of the season. We need to look at the market movements that we saw today. Um, basically, we're just going to take a look across the entire market today, talk about a few things that could come up this weekend and what we saw today with these team of the season cards um, and kind of look at the cards, maybe look at their prices on the market and of course, um, just the market movements that we talked about. Uh, that we talked about yesterday, that we projected to happen today, that did happen today. So there were a lot of things today that happened according to how we thought it was going to go. And that was a lot of panic selling early in the morning during the TOTS watch. And even before that, as people found out who's actually in the team of the season, there was a couple leaks that went around on Twitter. I saw those. And there was a lot of cards that were panic sold. Now, these are some of the cards that I traded today. I did not trade too, too many of them. Um, but this Gerard I got during lightning rounds at 1 million coins flat, sold it for 1.127. And his card has been going for like 1.07 to 1.1. I listed it a little bit higher because I knew a lot of people were buying in this market. Gerard, you know, is an, an icon that people like to go after. Um, so I got a little bit of extra coins out of that today and a lot of these cards rose up a good amount today This Yoris card. I bought all of these at hundred and twenty five thousand coins um, Right before team of the season dropped today sold them all from 137 to 148 These Fabinho's were a massive buy for me and I actually have a couple of them stuck in my unassigned still Bought those for 410 to 420 sold for 450 to 470 Firmino was a good one. He got panic sold down to 200k Bought a couple of those, sold them at 240. Still have a couple left to sell. This uh, Jesus I bought at 275. This Ganduzis, uh, sold one at 270 and 257. I bought those for 220 and like 222. A couple more Firminos, a couple other Taz cards that I still have chilling um, out here as well. I'm just gonna compare his price and list up this Firmino really fast. It looks like his price has dropped a little bit, like he's 230, something like that, 240, 230. I don't want to undercut myself, so we're just going to list one at 250. See if we can get any bites since it's a position change cam card. But we need to look at some of these team of the season cards because right now their prices were very, very high earlier today when they came out into packs. And look at them now, especially this hazard card. People are paying three and a half million cards, right? Three and a half million coins right out of the gate for this card and look to where he's dropped now 2.95 on bid there 2.970 i'm probably going to try to pick one of these up if i see 2.9 flat i would definitely definitely be interested in picking one of those up i do think it can go back over a million coins but a lot of these cards have oh my goodness you have in sun for 1.8 is that still there I, I didn't think it would be there but i had to check just in case that is a massive undercut on that card and just as you saw there, that Sun card hasn't been below 2 million coins since the price range updates all day. So a lot of these cards are very inflated today. If you tried them, try to get them out as fast as you can. Their prices are only going to go down from here. As we take a look at the actual TOTS team, I feel like it's a pretty good team. Um, we got some really good guys in there. I would have liked to have Pogba in there. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's a really solid team. And I think there's a lot of hype around Aubameyang. Lacazette, I don't know if people thought he was going to get in. He actually got in, and he has a very sick card. Um, and obviously a 1.46 million coins. A lot of these cards are pretty expensive. Um, even even some of the middle of the road guys, like this Ericsson at 940, he was over a million coins. At one point today, he was like a 1.4 uh, at one point, and I'm going to be honest, I would have never thought that this card would be over a million coins. I thought he might start right under a million and then work his way to 700k, maybe at his lowest point through this promo. Uh, but he is staying high. 925, that's the lowest that I've seen him all day out here on this game. But he's a very popular player. A lot of people like Ericsson uh, in this game, but I just didn't expect that card to be that expensive. Now, some cards are honestly a little bit cheaper than I thought they would be. This Ederson goalkeeper card is like 200,000 coins. What is he? 209 according to Footbin. Like this card's 200k and look at the stats on that card. Um, obviously he does have a lot of supply since he is one of the more, um, you know, he's a goalkeeper from this league. Goalkeepers always seem to get packed from team of the season. Yeah, 210,000 coins for this Ederson card. Um, and also Allison as well. I think he's like 280, 290. 300,000 like that's pretty low for some of these goalkeepers and the stat boosts that they got Especially when you can when you consider the team of the year De Gea is still 800,000 coins uh, But other than that a lot of these cards are just very very high people are trying them out. I'm sure they play incredible in game 
Um, a lot of these cards have to be just a huge step up from what we've had so far in this game. And a lot of people are going to want to know, when do I buy these for my team? Um, so before we take a look at more of the stuff that happened today, I want to just mention that a little bit. I think these cards are going to be cheapest again on Sunday, like they were last week, and then again on Thursday. And I think Thursday is going to be your lowest time because these cards are going to be a part of weekly rewards, and you're going to see people... Um, especially those guys that play to you know top 100 elite, those those really top tier guys, they're going to have some of these guys in their team that they want to try out. They're going to use them this weekend, and they're not, not a lot of people are going to pack the big boys, but the big boys are going to be packed. You're going to have people that are packing Sterling, Aguero, Salah, Hazard, Erickson, Van Dyke. You know these guys are going to get packed from weekend league rewards. People are going going to go then sell their tradable versions on the market. So a quick just my first initial thought of when the buy time will be for these cards. I'm thinking Thursday is going to be the best time to buy because of people listing these up when they get rewards, selling their tradable versions, and keeping the red player pick untradable versions in their club. So I want to look at a few other things today. Um, we need to look at some squad building challenges. The one SBC that came out today, I guess there was two. Flashback for me, you know, 710,000 coins. I think that's a little bit overpriced. It's it's a cool card. It's I think it's a flashback to his team of the season from FIFA 18, which is cool. Um, but you know, if you're a huge Liverpool fan and you're going to use this guy in your team for the rest of the year, maybe shell out the coins for it. Um, we'll talk about high-rated golds in a second. They're not super high, but they're not super low at the same time. Uh, 700k though, I mean, that is a really really sick card. We also got the Havertz SBC today, 78k for an 88 rated card like this that has some in-game value and I think you get a 50k pack back? Yeah, you get a 50k pack back from the price of the SBC so it doesn't look too bad to me. Um, obviously it's not really a card that is going to be just for a SBC value, the 88 rated Havertz. That looks like a pretty solid card. Um, and then Marquee Matchups honestly looks very cheap as well. To do 31k for the entire thing of Marquee Matchups, I would recommend doing that especially with this stuff going on right now. And even Van Persie looks pretty cheap at 139k. You get a lot of packs for that. Um, but let's go look at the high-rated golds. I was talking to a couple traders in the community tonight, and I wanted to take a look at these prices more in depth. I haven't looked at them quite yet, but they actually look up. 17,000 coins, and that what that really tells me is, yes, today these cards got hit during lightning rounds, but it, I mean he rebounded shortly after. Look at this. Uh, 1 p.m. happens. 6 p.m. UK, seized at 16,500 coins, and he rises up two hours later to almost 18K. He's come back down a little bit now. But a lot of these higher rated golds, this just shows you that people went out and they did SBCs today. Yes, some people went out and did the Firmino SBC. They paid a lot of money for that. Um, but especially with these higher, the 87, the 88s, I mean, the 87s are up 5,000 coins. A lot of these were at, tr at 20K. If you look at my club, I stocked my club, and I talked to you guys about stocking your clubs um, before Team of the Season came out. I did that, and it's looking like it was a good move now, especially because of the, the more SBCs that we could have this weekend. I mean, if you look at some of these car prices I got on the 88-rated cards, 27K for Lloris, um, 32K for Thiago Silva, 80, 30K for Coutinho. What did I get a Royce at? 30K. Um, I think I have an Ericsson here at 30K as well. Casemiro at 30k, 30k. So a lot of those cards have risen up a little bit. You see, there a lot of the 88s are 36, 37,000 coins. 87s are like 26, 27k. And I think that is just the effect of Roberto Firmino coming out onto this game, and also people going out and getting a lot of coins from today. There were a lot of people. Today was a, a weird day for lightning rounds. Even I can't, I can't get in the store because I am unassigned. But EA didn't just run three sets of lightning rounds today. They ran four, which is something that they, I don't even know if they've ever done that before. They ran the 50Ks, the 100Ks, the 125Ks, and then they ran 125Ks again, and they all sold out so quickly. And it's going to happen again today on Saturday when they put out lightning rounds again. Uh, they're going to sell out fast because people are just hyped on these team of the season cards, and the cards that are out are just nutty, man. The boost that they gave to some of these cards really gives an incentive for people to go out and spend money on the game because they think that they're going to be able to pack one of them, and most likely they're obviously not going to be able to, uh, but that's what EA wants to make people believe, that they can pack one. So um, 
that was the interesting thing with lightning rounds, and you would think, yeah, that means gold supply, but it looks like people were really focused on the SBCs that they wanted to do, or you know maybe that was an icon SBC that somebody had been working towards, whether it was that Firmino SBC, maybe the Van Percy, um, or just any SBC in the store. I'm guessing it was more the icons, because when they kind of go all up in that price range, people just got a lot of coins today from opening packs and spending money on the game. That's why you saw just almost everything went up today. We looked at a lot of the cards that I had sold, uh, but if we go back, let's go back to Footbin for this one. We're going to look at some, even the tots most consistent. A lot of these cards rose up out of packs today, Premier League cards included, but the most meta ones, I mean, look at this Alex Tellez. I bought one this morning and it's in my unassigned actually. I forgot about that. There's a Tellez in my unassigned that I bought this morning for 310,000 coins. Can't find him. He's, he's in there somewhere. But 368k is his current price. Allen this morning was 320. Alder Wirel this morning was 210 and below. For Stegen, I got one for 250. That's in my unassigned. Um, Taglifico didn't rise too much. And Dom Bailey at 310. This morning he was 275. Stones was 150 this morning. Juan Bisaka is 191k. Wow, he rose a ton. You can see on the graph, 160. What was he this morning? 160 again, 159, 160, SBC came out 156, and then boom, people bought their teams using these new cards, and they big time exploded. A lot of those meta cards, Rusillion, 144, that's a big rise as well, Henry Chan, 279, decent rise. Um, a lot of these guys kind of stayed the same, If but the most hype guys, you know, the guys that people are going to use in their teams, those really rose up. I want to look at some other squads out there. Team of the Knockout Stage cards, look at the price of this Sun card. This is what I was talking about yesterday with um, the Paul Pogba and the headliner, thinking that you know if Paul Pogba did get into Team of the Season, watch his headliner card, because his Tots card would be so expensive. That's basically what happened with, with this Sun card today. I missed one today on a snipe at 400k. He was even cheaper than that, 393k. His Tots card comes out, it's 2 million coins, the people that just panic sold this card down to under 400 are thinking, I don't have the coins to go buy that card. So they buy the same one back and then boom, his price goes flying up. This was a huge money making opportunity today. I think I posted on Twitter, I said in my tweet from these flips that I just showed you um, on my transfer list, basically what I said was, if you bought any Premier League usable meta weekend league player today, it went booming. Look at this Mane card, 400k. It went up 100,000 coins today, 309. You see, I mean, a lot of this stuff just boomed today. People bought teams today. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys that are watching this video bought teams today. Sane, 339. He was 275 last night. Wow, look how high he is on PS, 390. Yeah, look at this, 274 earlier last week. Some of this stuff is just crazy, crazy high, and it's all because of the packs that came out today and the hype and all the coins that everybody got from opening the rest of their saved packs and everything like that. So what does that do to the rest of the market this weekend? I mean, people still have their coins, obviously. Wow, this is an even cheaper hazard, 2930. We're gonna have to watch that. He's getting cheap. Um, but people are gonna continue to try out these TOTS cards and just there's a lot more coins on the game now for people to go out and try those cards to do SBCs and stuff like that. So later this weekend, we're expecting the player of the year and young player of the year from the league un SBC. So a possible Mbappe SBC. I don't think I'm gonna have the time to go do some research and look at an actual uh, video for investing in that SBC, but I can just really quick tell you Get on some League One informs and get some Team of the Season cards at Discard, the higher rated ones. The cheapest versions of the higher rated uh, Team of the Season cards, you're going to want to stack a couple of those in your club because I do think they're going to require some TOTS cards for an Mbappe SBC that could come out if he wins an award this weekend, which I do think that he would. And there's going to be a lot of demand for that SBC, um, whether it's a striker or a right mid card. And if it does surpass this Team of the Year version, that's going to be a crazy, crazy SBC. So get a little bit prepared for that. Um, just look around the market, look on Footbin, see if you can find some cheap League One informs for that. Uh, but again, this weekend was this weekend is all just about a market rise. Everybody buying teams. We have the 
you know these team of the season cards are going to be available in the weekend league which i will not be playing just because i don't play a ton of games at this point in fifa um and look at this ultimate premier league tots pack there's going to be so many team of the season cards available in packs they're going to have the premier league tots packs and also the player pick items which will be team of the season so that's why i'm talking about you know, i mentioned earlier that's why i really see the cheapest for these uh team of the season cards thursday is going to be the day for that just with how many cards are going to enter the market on that day i'm list my final for me just want to get it out we're going to 239 take a nice about 17 to 18k profit on that card right there and uh, we will go from there. But again, if you bought a team today, I mean, don't feel like you did something bad. The market going up a lot today. I mean, if you got, if you bought early on, if you saw that Sun card, the 90 rated Sun is 500k now. If you bought it at 400k earlier in the day today, you're, you know, you're sitting really good in terms of hey, how many coins can I make if off of the team, the team that I just bought today. Um, just be careful with that going ahead. See, still 520k. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. Even this one rose up a lot today too. That was at 620k. But um, just be careful with those teams. I do think they're going to stay high. I don't think a lot of people are going to sell off this weekend, unless an Mbappe SBC comes out on Sunday. That would probably make people want to sell off their teams and maybe go try to figure out some way to get some French links in there. Uh, if the Mbappe is the right wing card, we're going to have to seriously look at the Lala right back situation um, because that's going to be a card that everybody's going to try to link him to, especially if they're trying to use Premier League players in the middle. And most of their squad Premier League players. This Lala card actually didn't move too much today. He's still around. He's 190. I'm going to buy that one right there and try to flip it real quick overnight for like 207. Make a little bit of profit, you know, maybe a 10K flip. Um, but a lot of these cards, um, and Lala didn't move, but he will move if Mbappe does win that player of the month. So, or player of the year. So again, market today was all about everything rising and cashing out on investments. If you did some short flips and just enjoying these new cards that are on the game that are getting so cheap hazard down here at 29, 24, as we get another sale, I'm guessing it was a Firmino. I think it was, it was the Firmino at 239. That is a nice sale right there. The profits good today, that's for sure. So hopefully you guys made a lot of coins today. If you're wanting to know when to buy the next round of players, you just gotta wait through the rest of this weekend. Wait and see what the weekend league sell-off brings because this, there's so much hype around the weekend league this weekend and everybody playing and all that for the rewards. Um, and then the SBCs this weekend as well. We're probably gonna get a Tots Moments player so again, looking back on the high rated golds, try to pick some up, you know, today, Saturday and tomorrow, Sunday, I would say today, Saturday, for sure, depending on when they drop a moment's SBC. Um, if you can get those high rated golds, um, we'll look at those one last time. If you can get your, your 86s over here at like 14 to 15 K, your 85s under 8 K and your 87s close to 20 K. I think it's a really good time to stock up because we have a lot of SBCs in store. And if they put out like an SBC Pogba or an SBC Kane or an SBC Rashford or other United player or any hype popular player in the game that would get a Tots Moments card as an SBC, you're going to see people go bonkers for that. It's even for a team of the season guaranteed from the Premier League, people are going to go crazy, crazy for that. So I just want to get on this video today and kind of talk to you guys about where I saw the market this week. Uh, this weekend with the movements that we saw there's a lot of movements that's for sure and things are still selling into saturday right now as i'm recording this um, and making some good coin off of flipping these cards if you enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out